Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I decided to do a video today on how to get a consult with Eon. One second. Since Eon is not doing any more YouTube videos, he is allowing me to do this video in his stead. Uh, the drill noise you hear in the background, I have an inverter that I just blew out a couple of fuses, so I am repairing that. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the key point. Individuals who are getting a consult are paying for time. They're not paying for information. And this is how the consult works. An individual tells me what the issue are. And when they do reveal what their issues are, I let them know what they're going to need in order to resolve the issue. A consult is not a training class or a school or where you call someone or get in contact with someone and ask them to explain to you and uh, walk you through every aspect of a particular process. That's not what a consult is. Now, do I discuss processes and how to resolve certain things and how to complete processes that people have already started? Of course I do. But it's not a class where you can call me five, six months down the road or a hundred years down the road and think that we are buddies and friends and that the information is going to continue to be dispensed because that's not a consult. If you want to know the general concept of a consult, just go to any um, attorney website and look at their consults and look at what they give you during a consult. You'll see that they don't tell you how to do anything. They just give you quote unquote advice. Most people have listened to some of the consults that the clients have allowed me to place online, and they see I give more than just advice. I give individual solutions. I usually tell people, you will get at least five to seven solutions from me. And these are not solutions that I think will work. I'm not going to sit up there and tell you, well, that's, you know, it, it worked for Tommy. That's not how things work. I will literally tell you what the process is, what the law says, and how the law says things are supposed to be done. It is up to you to determine whether or not you're going to follow the law. Not everybody follows the law. The consults are conducted at an hour and 30 to an hour and 45 minutes. And with the hour and 30 to hour and 45 minutes, the first 15 minutes of the consult is your re-explaining what the issues are. What does that mean? Well, it's basically like this. We have an initial call. During the initial call, you explain what the issues are. I get to know what the issues are. And we set up the consult based on your telling me what the issues are. Now, the reason why that part is important is because I can't do anything for you if I don't know in advance what's going on. So there is a week between the time that you contact me initially and when you set up the consult. You have seven days to set up the consult. And during the consult, the first 15 minutes is where you are giving myself a reminder of everything that we had discussed on the initial. The reason for that is I talked to, in the course of a week, regarding personal issues and problems, 40 to 50 people. So by the time I talk to you, I may have forgotten all of the integral details of your situation, which it would be helpful if you were to remind me of what those issues are. And so the first 15 minutes or so, it may be a lot less than 15 minutes because normally it doesn't take that long. But the four, first 15 minutes is you're explaining to me what's going on, how it happened, why it happened, when it happened. After that, I take over and I take completely con complete control of the conversation. And from that point on, I'm explaining, we're documenting everything. Everything is done on Skype, so it is completely recorded. What you will be required to do is set up your own Skype account. And once you set up your own Skype account, what I do is I connect you 
to my account and we do everything on your account so that when I disconnect 24 hours later I remove myself from your account and you have a copy of the recording on your computer on your Skype account to do whatever you please and whatever you want to can you share it with someone else you have my permission can you put it online no not without my permission and I'm not ready to give that permission just yet that would be if I were to say yes you could do that that would be irresponsible on my part and I couldn't do that after the meeting is over uh, towards the end you'll be given an opportunity to ask questions based on what we discussed and then from that point the consult is over you'll be able to go ahead and put to work what you've just gathered and hopefully everything will work out the way it's supposed to now that will be completely 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 up to you how things work out whether or not you're going to follow the information the advice or whether you're just going to take your own chances I've had several people I've done consults with they did not listen to what I asked them to do what I told them they needed to do and it turned out very badly for them and I end up having to say to them but if you had done this if you had done that then this wouldn't have happened because that would have stopped that and let's just say it hasn't been very nice for the people who have not listened so it's not a good thing to ask somebody for a consult who has more knowledge of a situation and then not follow anything that they say but to go your own way I usually tell people you came to me for a consult and you didn't listen to me and now you want me to clean up what you messed up it doesn't work like that I'm gonna stop doing that for people because I'm doing that too much I have a young man he and his family have just been evicted from their home and he is going through some things right now and I really feel for this person because of what he and his family are going through and his situation is he didn't listen to me and I did let him know from the very beginning I don't have any quorums of telling you I told you so but I do feel for the young man that he and his family are without their home I did give him a suggestion as to how they can get back in the home and I don't think he listened to me again and I feel sorry for the individual not because he didn't listen to me but because of what they're gonna have to go through because that's not fun for anyone all right ladies and gentlemen this was just a little short tidbit of explaining to you the consult prox uh, policies and procedures and how it works and why it works the way it works I hope this information proves beneficial to some of you and ask that all the rest of you have a good day as I said before the consult is not anything other than compensating the organization for the time okay it's not a job it's not a donation it's not a contribution you are contributing it's not a contribution and you said they're contributing yes you're contributing to the organization for the time that I'm spending to do the consult with you even now doing this video I have to take away from the work that I'm supposed to be doing which is why I am repairing and putting in fuses in this inverter while I'm talking to you guys this is a very powerful inverter 300 watts or 3 kilowatts and because of that I have to be very careful on what I do it is disconnected but I have to focus and so when people get consults with me that means I have to take away from the things that I'm supposed to be focused on and don't get to do it that's why we're doing this today so ladies and gentlemen gentlemen and ladies have a good day